So-called safe alternatives to tanning may actually be dangerous. New findings show that spray-on tanners are causing toxic reactions. News 13's Megan Sharon also shows us how some spray-on lotions can also cause harm. Most people would agree having a tan makes them look and feel better, but we all know the dangers of ultraviolet rays. That's why some folks take the safe route, but some experts say that may not be the best idea. For years, doctors have been telling folks to spray tan to avoid ultraviolet rays. But it turns out experts say a chemical inside that magical mist may pose a potential health hazard. ABC News has obtained lab studies that document DHA, the chemical that turns your skin brown. The studies show it can cause DNA damage to your skin cells and may also cause respiratory problems. Would you tell your patients now with this medical study not to spray tan? You know, I'm going to tell them to limit their spray tanning. It's presenting a dilemma for dermatologists. Dr. David Cogburn of Carolina Mountain Dermatology says he still needs more information about the study, but believes faux tans are the safest alternative if done in moderation. There should be some comfort in in the knowledge that for the past 50 years, there really hasn't been any significant uh, reports of damage, of, of, you know, of, of health issues regarding uh, this DHA. And some sunblock is also coming under fire for being flammable. Labels on spray-on lotions warn users not to use around open flames. A Massachusetts man caught fire after he sprayed suntan lotion and went to his grill to cook. I went into complete panic mode, just screamed. I mean, I've never... I've never experienced pain like that in my life. The more the better. But some young adults are not taking that warning seriously. <laughs> and are lighting themselves on fire and posting the videos on YouTube. Fire officials are telling people to take precautions. Obviously the sprays are probably a lot quicker to apply. If you're by yourself, you can apply more areas of your body versus the lotion. However, again, it is a compressed liquid of some type and that compressed uh, vapor in there can catch on fire. If you use a spray suntan lotion, fire experts say let it dry before you go near any open flame. Back to you.